What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to import your World of Warcraft characters, such as Contodo right here, uh, complete with animations and skins and textures and everything, uh, like running, attacking, emoting, all those great animations, or as you can see, meditating right here, um, and drag them right into Unreal Engine 4 or 5. Uh, works really well, it's a really simple tool, and I'll show you how to use it in this video. Before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, click on that thanks or join button below, um, or even just drop a like or a sub, right? <laughs> um, it'd be really great if uh, you want to support the channel and uh, keep up development and things like that. Uh, but of course, enjoy as always, and let's get started. Uh, so let me go ahead and fly over to this screen real quick and get it nice and centered for you. All right, so I'm going to open up. So we're gonna open up our documents here and we're also going to open up Chrome. And we're going to go to All right, so we're going to go to wowmodelviewer.net slash download, and then you're going to get to download the official Shadowlands version of the application. Um, this is the one that works for the normal install of the game, um, and it does not download any assets from here. So you do have to have WoW installed in order to use this. Uh, so go ahead and click on download official version and run the installer. Now, I already have it installed. Um, I'm going to actually open up in File Explorer, and I have two versions, so that's why I'm going specifically to the one that's installed, as opposed to just going into my Task Manager. Uh, so I'm going to go into Program Files, WoW Model Viewer, and I have this in, in regular WoW Model Viewer. We're going to open up the application here. We'll wait for that to load. It might open up on my other screen, so I'll have to drag it over. I had to accept the prompt, and now it's showing up. Yep, and it's on the other screen. So yes, connect to World of Warcraft. Let's drag this onto the other screen so it's not on top of everything once it loads. All right, so now it's loaded. And the way that this works, unfortunately that Radeon software keeps popping up. I'm not sure why it does that, but um, I'll, I'll disable that before I record the next video. Um, but basically the way this program works is you just go to character and you choose what kind of character you are. So I'm a human, for example. Uh, you go to male or female and you can choose the HD uh, version of the mail. When you double click on that, it's gonna load in your main window here. Just takes a little while. And now we have a mail character that we can adjust and change as needed. We can zoom in and out. We can uh, move them up and down with the right mouse button, zoom in and out with the middle mouse uh, wheel, and uh, rotate with the left mouse button. You can, cust you can customize the character using these customization options here. So you can change the face, you can change the skin color, you can change the haircut, you can change pretty much everything about the uh, character, just like you would a normal character in WoW. Unfortunately, the character importing from the armory doesn't work in this version. It's currently broken, but the way to surpass that is uh, it takes a little bit of extra work, but I think it's worth it. Um, we just go to the WoW Armory. We can actually just log in. Let's make this full screen so we can see it better. So you're going to click on your character and choose a character you want to edit. So I'm going to choose Contodo. All right, and here's everything your character is wearing. So when you go through, you're not going to want to 
type in 7th Legionnaire's Helmet, for example, you're going to want to choose, type in whatever you transmogrified it to, or if it's the original one, then you type in the original one. So in this case, I'm actually looking for Immolation Face Guard. You can see it in purple. Um, that's going to be the name of the helmet that I need to put onto the character. So let's see how that looks over here. So for the head, we're going to click on head. And it's going to take a while to load up all of the different um, equipment available. And then we're going to search here in the filter for immolation. So I'm going to type I-M-M-O. Just because it does take a while, it searches every letter you type in. So it takes a while to do it. And then this was the immolation face card. So we're going to click on face card. And as you can see, it's the one in... Um, in the game so all you have to do is go through each one of these and equip everything as it was in uh in your character so i have the spolders of manifold eyes so i might go to shoulder and i might type in manifold so m-a-n-i All right, spolders of manifold eyes, and there they are. So all you have to do is go through um, and equip all of the items that you have in uh, the actual game, and these physics changes will fix um, when you download it. But let's go ahead and uh, load up a full character that I did earlier. So let's go to character, load character, and then I'll choose con todo. And here's the full character that I've already edited, right? Um, so we can actually see that you can choose different animations. So for example, a thousand fists, kind of funny. Um, you can go different stands. Uh, let's see, this one's broken. Some of these don't work too well. Uh, walk is a really nice one. Um, or you can export all of them if you like into a folder. It takes a lot longer, but you can do that as well. So once you've done this, all you have to do is click on File and go to Export Model. And you can actually choose to ex export to an FBX file. I'm going to do that. And I type con todo test FBX. I'm going to save that to my desktop. And then you could choose which animations you want. So I'm going to unselect all, and I'm just going to choose the standing animation and press OK. But you could choose whichever you'd like. They just show up in a folder. And it says export successfully done. So now we're going to minimize both of these. And I'm going to, oops, I did not mean to change the viewpoint. I'm going to open up Unreal Engine. All right, and in order to import our character, all we need to do is find it in the uh, file explorer. So it is con todo test right here. Now we're gonna drag this into our asset folder. It's that easy. You're gonna leave all of this checked. I have skeletal mesh and import mesh on. Um, and go ahead and go to import all. And it'll take a moment for it to import everything into the scene. All right. So now we have our character here with all of the different textures um, for that character. We're going to wait for them to load. As you can see, they're slowly popping up. Shaders, am I right? So as that's downloading, uh, basically, um, Everything is going to be in one character file except for the helmet and shoulders and possibly weapons. So with those, all you have to do is line it up where they're supposed to be on the um, uh, character and either nest them, which is the if it's not going to move kind of thing, or more likely open up the main mesh, um, add the helmet and shoulder meshes, and then attach them to the sockets on the uh, character itself, which I'll show you how to do in a moment as well. Um, I'm just waiting for those assets to load. Um, but I do have one imported that I could show you with. So maybe I'll do that. Give me a second. 
All right. So what I did with this character, let's fly over here. It's going a little slow because I have the, <laughs> it's kind of meta. I have it open while I'm playing it. Um, but if we open up this uh, blueprint, let's put it over here and go to the viewport. You can see that all I've done is placed um, the shoulders and the helmet over the character. You'll see that he's actually sitting without the helmet. And all I've done is I've placed it where it's supposed to go. And then I've used the parent socket to choose a socket that's close to it. These aren't named, but it's pretty easy to attach it to one and see where it's moving. Um, so I've attached the shoulders as well as the helmet to the sockets. Now you don't get any of the effects from Mao, so I actually use the default fire particle system to make it look more like it looks in game. And uh, yeah, all of the animations, all of the uh, uh, textures and everything should work out of the box with that FPX export. And you'll be able to import all of your World of Warcraft models into Unreal Engine. Uh, you can also choose to uh, choose a mount and your character will actually be exported with the mount as well and the full animations uh, sitting on the mount. You can choose um, emotes on the mount, all that good stuff. So uh, be sure to take a look at all of the assets that the uh, WoW model exporter actually can export. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any questions um, or comments, leave them down below. And especially if you have any ideas about the new studio, I just started recording in the studio, as you can tell. Uh, let me know if you like it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.